Uh, it's pretty early in the morning for me to be doing this, but like I woke up, I was only get like five hours of sleep, y'all. <laughs> get like five hours of sleep. Um, and I woke up this morning to people texting me all sorts of things that they wanted me to look at and to cover. So I've already shared an article. I've addressed some other things, but I also got this, which is... I don't even watch Jimmy Dwar, you guys. I'm not going to cover much of this. He goes for an hour, and he's one of the most obnoxious people I've ever seen. And he's a white supremacist. Can we be real? But I'll cover just a smidgen. I'll cover a smidgen because it was sent to me. Let's go. Almost employed by the Bernie Sanders campaign in 2020. <laughs> you can find his work on I Rumble and can't find it on Facebook. He's our friend, Matt Orfala. Hi, Matt. All right. So Thank I'm you, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. I just got to correct you. Um All right. Let me tell you who this dude is. <laughs> let me tell you who this dude is. So Matt Orfala, um, he uh, created like a viral video, like a, a viral campaign video. Oh, my Lord, with the dogs in this neighborhood. Sorry about that. Okay. So Matt created this like viral video back in... Um, I want to say it was like tw late 2019 and it, um, the Bernie campaign wanted to bring him on board to, uh, create viral videos for the campaign. And then it was revealed, like somebody did some digging on this dude and he had like some really, really bad tweets out there where he was saying some pretty horrible things. I can't remember specifically what it was, whether it was like misogynistic or racist or what it was, but it was bad. It's like something that you absolutely would not be connected to if you're running for president. But okay, let's go. Um, I didn't almost get a chance to work with Bernie. They almost had a chance to work with. Oh, him. nice Slight correction. <laughs> Wait, one more, one more thought on this. So then Matt promptly gets invited onto Lauren Steiner's show. And I texted the dude, and I'm like, uh, you totally should be avoid. You should avoid Lauren at all costs. This is a really bad idea. By the way, Lauren is really tight with Jimmy Dore. I've mentioned this before, and they are insensitive, racist, uh, misogynistic, uh, you know, transphobic, homophobic a holes. And um, I, I told him you should totally not do that show. So he's clearly decided that uh, that's the way to go, right, Matt? That's the way to go. <laughs> nice. I agree with you. I agree with you. Uh, okay. So let me go. Let me. So let's get into the story. This is the story. So now this guy says Kyle Rittenhouse is so lucky that he's white and only killed black people. I'm sorry, guys, but the judge is going to let this guy walk. He said this on October 26th, this guy, Alex Cole. Now, I don't, I'm sure he's a nice person, Alex Cole. But, and I don't show this to tell you that he's a bad person. I show you to tell you that's that even good people can totally get the story wrong because of the establishment media, right? Uh, this absolute clown is pushing white supremacy talking points. He's pushing GOP talking points. He's still trying, he's out there doing damage control for the Trump GOP saying that it's okay for a teenage kid to um, pick up a, a weapon of mass destruction, cross state lines for the purpose of hunting people. And I mean, what the fuck? Uh, you know, these are, are did. I, you know what? Somebody should do a uh, internet search and see where Jimmy Dore and Steiner and the Convo Couch stood on Heather Hair. Was that okay? Was was uh, were you guys cool with that too? When um, the dude plowed his car into the crowd of Antifa protesters who were trying to combat the Nazis in Charlottesville, were you cool with that too? Because right now you're justifying this bullshit. For instance, here's someone who did a great thread. I'm a big fan of hers. I go to her Twitter thread all the time. She's just a regular person with like maybe a couple of thousand of his, uh, followers. And she tweeted out, I am highly educated and reasonably, perspe reasonably perceptive. And it was only today that I learned that Kyle Rittenhouse victims were white. All three of them. Yeah, they were white. They were defending Black Lives Matter. Are you fucking knucklehead? 
And so they gave up their white card because they were defending something that you white supremacists abhor. My progressive bubble made this seem like a very different case than it is. Uh, first of all, I just want to say I love Sarah and her Twitter feed. I, I follow her now. Uh, but let me just say she lost me at Highly Educated. <laughs> Okay, how many brain cells are lost in the pursuit of higher education? That's Okay, that's about as much of this as I can tolerate because the guy can't even accept allies without knocking them down. Look, um, he is a white supremacist. He's at the top of the fucking pyramid. He wants to create de- genocide by convincing you all that you can't save yourself from the pandemic by taking uh, vaccines and that uh, you should all spread this disease out to everybody else. This dude is a white supremacist who is trying to create genocide. I'm, I'm, I'm out. I'm not going to cover this whole fucking video.